morning. I woke up today with a message from my mom telling me that it's National Gardening Day, which is supposed to mean you do your best to teach others about the joy of home gardening. So I figured what better day than today to pop on here and encourage you guys to plant a garden this year because it really is a joy to just create your own happy place right in your backyard. So not everybody has to go to an extreme level of starting seeds indoors. That's purely to extend my growing season here in Maryland, which is a pretty long growing season already. But it just brings me joy. And if the thought of doing something like that inside brings you stress, skip right over it. Just start planting seeds outside. Now, before you do that, you need to know when your last frost date is. So just Google either the nearest city or your town's name and last frost date and mine says April 13th which was actually yesterday but if you look at our forecast we have a 39 degree day now that's not freezing but that's not ideal for a lot of plants especially tomatoes so you kind of want to wait a couple weeks after that just you know to give yourself a buffer keep an eye on that 10-day forecast it's your new best friend this time of year now, if you're lucky enough to get your hands on a plant start during your emergency food run, then good for you, snatch that thing up. Otherwise, seeds are great. Seeds want to grow. They want to grow into plants that reach full maturity so that they can produce seed and create new plants. That is their purpose. They want to grow. You're just here to help them along in their natural process. As long as they have adequate light, water, and a good healthy soil, they should be happy plants. If you've got land, you can grab yourself a shovel and start tilling the soil over. Get rid of all the weeds and there you go. You've got some healthy soil, stick some seeds in, make sure to water it, you're good to go. If not, if you have an opportunity to do some container growing, maybe you have a balcony or even a windowsill, try reusing a plastic container, cutting it in half, flipping it over, that way you have a bottom reservoir. This had a really big opening at the bottom, so I just used a coffee filter to make sure that the soil stayed inside. This, this is a great vessel. Um, maybe you have a potted plant indoors that didn't really do so well. You've got soil and a perfect nursery pot with plenty of drainage. You need drainage. Drainage is key. I've also seen people grow in a cardboard box. Now, this is ideal if you have an outdoor space because it will leak and get pretty soggy over time, but hey, it's a way to hold in soil. And if worse comes to worse, you can just grow straight in the bag of soil. Now, if you're doing any sort of container planting or raised bed planting, you are gonna need to bring in some soil. So maybe you can figuratively get together with some neighbors and order a delivery of some compost. I know that a lot of landscaping businesses are considered essential infrastructure, so they're still delivering that type of stuff because having a garden is very important, especially at a time like this. Or a lot of us have access to a Walmart. I was avoiding Walmart the first two times that I had to venture out. Since this started to the grocery store, they were out of eggs both times. So I ended up having to go to Walmart. It's just the only other grocery store around here to get some eggs. And I took the opportunity to grab a bag of soil and some nursery pots just because I didn't know the next time I would be out. So the next time you are out, I know Walmart does curbside pickup. You do have to schedule a certain time. I do know that tractor supply, a lot of farm supply stores are doing curbside pickup. That's another option to get some soil. Or like I said, contact a local nursery that does deliveries. And if you want to fill that into a raised bed, you can find some scrap wood from past projects to make some beds or make a wattle fence using sticks that you find around your yard, just like my friend Nellie did here. Amazing job, it's so gorgeous. Really, the possibilities are endless. Get creative. Whatever you do, make sure you've got adequate drainage, excellent soil, a lot of sun and some water, and a lot of love. So I wish you luck this year in your garden, whether it's your first time gardening or whether you just needed a kick in the butt to get back into it. I wish you luck and the confidence to grow your own food this year. Thanks so much and happy National Gardening Day.